Okay, folks, we have a real treat for us. Jeff Johnson, it's very, very rare for him to speak at events, and he has never given this talk ever before. Actually, he did to, just to his super high-end coaching program. And what he's doing is he's taking a nine-hour presentation and, and, uh, and putting it into 90 minutes. Nine-hour compression. He's like, he's like Jeff MP3 Johnson. He's, like, he's compressing it like unheard of levels. Um, get on in here. Okay, so this is the deal. Um, the end of January, beginning of February 2003, I went to a mastermind dinner because I bought, um, I bought the big seminar through someone's affiliate link and he, brought, he took everyone to dinner. And there was like 50 people at dinner. And I told you I'm an introvert and I don't walk in a room where I don't know anyone and I'm not that great in that situation. But I tried to overcome it. So I just like went and grabbed some hors d'oeuvres and I sat down in a seat. And there was someone already sitting, you know, sitting next, you know, I sat down next to someone. And um, it turned out that person happened to go the same, had the same alma mater as I did. He went, we both went to Michigan State. We both grew up in Michigan. Um, this is someone, I was publishing about the stock market. This person was a stock broker at that time. And so we had some things to talk about, so we got to talking. And, you know, we basically, you know, had a lot in common, really liked spending time with each other. So we basically spent, like, the whole weekend hanging out. I tell you, I like to go make one friend at an event. And this is, I made a bunch at this event. But this is the one very good friend I made was Jeff Johnson. That's the person I sat down next to. And Jeff, at that point, he was actually there as a, he's a stockbroker, and he had a client who was thinking about buying a web business. And, um... And Jeff went there to see if people are actually making money online. Let's see if there's, if there's if people really can make money online. So, um, so the answer was yes. <laughs> um, but anyways, we, we stayed in touch. We talked on the phone. We talk on the phone all the time. When we talk on the phone, we're usually talking about our kids. In fact, you know what? My daughter is racing a mountain bike as we speak in Cresta Butte, Colorado. She is off. I'm going to show you a picture of her. She's tough. My son would be, but he got sick. She's starting at 9,000 foot elevation, and they're riding up to almost 11,000 feet, an 1,800 foot climb, starting at 9,000 feet. She's 15 years old, and she is the sweetest. Well, I mean, she is so sweet, but she is tough as nails. So right now, she's out there just beating herself up on this massive climb. So go, Joan. No, she doesn't have a webcam. You can't carry an extra weight when you're climbing 1,800 feet. So um, anyway, sorry about that, Jeff. I got off. I'm taking Jeff's valuable time. Now he's got to do it in 89 minutes. So this is the deal. Jeff didn't know anything about b online business. He learns fast. He's unbelievable the way he learns, the way he pulls different things together, um, the way he can synthesize information and just draw it in his brain and take different things and pull them together into one cohesive mass. It's an absolute scene. There's been two times... So I'm trying to talk fast to get you guys warmed up because he talks really fast. Yeah, okay. So there's been two conversations I had. You, actually, one of them I told you about, you know, was that coaching club. If Jeff hadn't said, damn it, just do it and do it this way, I wouldn't have done it. So that was like $252,000 that I, you know, I went to Vegas. Jeff beat me up. I came home, $252,000. It was actually more than that. I credit that to Jeff. Another time I talked to Jeff, and he just said, do this, 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 and this with your search engine stuff. And people don't know this about me, but I've been playing the search engine game for, you know, six or seven or eight years. I actually do do, that, do, do all that stuff, too. But um, Jeff told me to change a few things. In the next three or four months, I made $200,000 based directly on what he told me. So I've had two different conversations that were worth $200,000, each of them. And so that's why I listen to Jeff. And, and I can call up anyone when I'm, I've told you about my mastermind and how I start make, you know, doing the dialing when I have an idea. And I'll call everyone. And I'll look for everyone's input. And then the last person that I call, because he's the person that I trust the most, the last person I call is always Jeff Johnson. So I don't know any stronger endorsement I can give. You, I've heard him talk about this stuff before. He's got some great stuff, and it's going to go really fast, so get ready. Jeff Johnson. <laughs> Appreciate it. <clears throat> Are we all set? Sounds good. Well, he gave me the introduction, so I guess we'll go. 
As he said, he saw this presentation in August of last year, and he thought it'd fit well for you guys. The problem is it was a nine-hour presentation. It literally was. It was a case study for one of my clients at a coaching group that was together at the time, and he lost money consistently. And, and he came to me, and he had an idea. I said, that idea sucks. Let's try something else. So I told him if he let me use him as a case study, I would help him. He was already a client. I would have helped him anyhow, but we got a little bit closer involved in stuff. And that is how this turned into a nine-hour presentation. I had a three-day seminar. People like Stuart is there. And uh, so there's only a couple hundred people in the world who have ever seen this presentation, so it should be new for most of you. I've actually modified it slightly so the people who have seen it should see some new stuff. Uh, you can have the presentation when I'm done. The slides are yours. Uh, that's the best I can do. Um, but as he said, it was nine hours. So Jeff wanted to talk a little about affiliate marketing. Well, let's get started, and I'll tell you about it. why I do what I do. First, you have to know why I do what I do before I tell you what I do. Why I do it is family and it's lifestyle. I want to control what I do, when I do it, who I do business with, plain and simple. That's the only reason I do it. In the brokerage business, people used to laugh because they'd call and talk to my secretary all the time, not because I wouldn't take their calls, but I was never there. I built my business in the brokerage business the same way on the Internet. I wanted to do it on my terms. And as Jeff said, when I flew out and met everybody out in January of 2003, I had no intention of going into the internet marketing business. I was helping raise $25 million for a guy who was doing a job inside the internet marketing field. And I met a bunch of people there, and it was funny because the people on stage weren't making that much money. The people in the audience were the players that were making all the money. And I kept asking people, well, who's the real player, who's the real player? And there's Frank Kern and John Reese, you know, and I met Jeff Mulligan and Jeff Walker, and I met Jason Potash and Ryan Dice and all those other guys. We're all still friends today. But I asked who the real players were, and then I made a point of making sure I went and introduced myself to them. And then we became friends. And people keep asking me how I was friends with them when I wasn't in the business. Well, I guess it's because I wasn't in the business, and all I wanted to do was drink beer and hang out. So you know, that's how we became friends. So it's all about the family. Uh, when we decided to have kids, I was in the brokerage business. I could have done anything I wanted. I was offered a couple of promotions I didn't accept. It was about kids. And I could have gone back into the management position. I was offered other jobs, and I said, no, we're going to have kids. We've been married seven years. Let's have kids. It's time to have kids. So I worked even less than before, made more money before, took it easy, and then one day some guy walks in and says, I need $25 million for an internet deal. I said, fine. Looked at his marketing research report, I said, this sucks, there's got to be a way to make money on the internet, and this isn't it. So I flew out to the conference, and that's how I got involved and met these guys. All these guys are still good friends of mine. Who the hell is Jeff Johnson? Well, I was a loser. Went to the conference in January 2003, went to another conference in April 2003 in Cleveland. I hadn't made a penny. I'd spent $15,000 online because my accountant told me I'd wasted $15,000 and hadn't made a penny. And he was laughing. He thought it was a scam. Joke was on him because less than six months later, he had to move me to another accounting firm because he couldn't handle my business anymore. <laughs> but uh, he thought it was a scam and he laughed at me. And he took my money for the booking. So. But... <clears throat> I decided on the drive home, we were, t we were there, I told the story before, so I'll make it quick. 2003, I was sitting there, hadn't made a dime. Jeff Mulligan tells me, dude, it's not that hard to make $100,000 on the internet. And I'm like, I don't know, I've got a family to support, I've got to do this, I haven't seen anything happen yet. John Reese called me a knucklehead, So just do something, damn it, you're a knucklehead, get moving. So I was driving home from Cleveland, and it occurred to me that I don't want to process orders, I don't want to handle credit cards, I don't want to handle customer service and that stuff. So I thought, well, affiliate marketing is the way to go. I didn't realize at the time that affiliate marketing is the best source of free traffic in the world, which means when you have a product to launch, you launch it through an affiliate channel. I did it because I didn't want to work hard, and I didn't. I wasn't even working. I worked my butt off up to a certain point, and then it was just a coaster ride for years after that. Um, and affiliate marketing is what I identified as what I wanted to do, but the problem was I had to have somebody to sell to. So how do you get someone to sell to? I didn't know you could go through affiliate marketing channels at that time. I figured, well, SEO is the way to go. So I started everything I could with SEO. I hadn't made a penny at that point. That was April. I built my first site in May, went to another conference in November. I didn't know any better when I said, hey, you know, this AdSense thing, I'm doing $3,000 a day profit. It was all from free search engine traffic. And they're like, what? And Reese is like, dude, shut up. Don't tell anyone. That was another piece of advice John gave me. And I didn't. I shut up. I listened to John, you know. So uh, I said, well, that's not the only thing I'm doing. I'm doing affiliate marketing here. I'm doing things here. I'm doing things there. And uh, and it turns out that, that was pretty good. It was from six months from zero to when I was at that point. And uh, I didn't want to collect emails at that point. People kept beating me up. Jason Potash drove out, stayed with me a couple of days, wanted to teach me how to do email marketing. I said, I don't want to do it. I showed him one of my accounts. He goes, well, I guess you don't have to worry about that. I said, great.